This is the video on distance, rate, and time. And as always, please make sure you have your graphic organizer with you ready to go. Let's pose a problem to start with. Suppose you're traveling by car on your vacation, and you're traveling at an average speed of 55 miles per hour. How many hours will it take you to travel 440 miles? Well, let's make some tables to help us solve this problem. The first table on the left shows you that if you go 55 miles per hour for one hour, you're going to go 55 miles. 55 miles per hour times two hours, you're going to go 110 miles. And it's going to go so on and so on until we get down here to the bottom and we notice that 55 miles per hour in eight hours will get you the 440 miles. Now the second table breaks it down into its different categories. The first column we have your speed which remains consistent, 55 miles per hour. Obviously this is not me on vacation because I tend to speed a little bit more than that, but this is a good driver that is doing 55 miles per hour consistently. The second column is your hours and that goes up one, two, three, and so on to eight. Now look at the distance. What can we say about speed and hours to get the distance? Well, I'm sure most of you have figured it out by now that the distance is equal to the rate, which is your speed, and the time, which is the hours. So if you take your speed of 55 miles per hour times the time, which is the hours, you're going to figure out your distance. And that's the formula we're going to be working on tonight. Distance equals the rate, the speed you're going, times the time, how long it takes you to get there. So let's try and practice this. Susie is flying from Los Angeles to Honolulu. Lucky Susie. If the flight takes six hours and the distance is 2,574 miles, what is the average speed of the airplane? Well, again, we have our formula. Distance equals rate times time. Now, if you put into this formula the information we know, the distance is 2,574 miles. That's how far she has to go. The time is six hours. We know that the flight takes six hours. What we don't know in this case is the rate or how fast the plane is going. That's what we need to solve for. That's our variable. And as I know your fifth grade math teacher taught you, to solve for a variable, you have to get it by itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the six hours. So we're going to do the opposite. Instead of multiplying by 6 hours, we're going to divide by 6 hours. And if you do it for one, you have to do it for the other. So to solve this, we're going to have to take 2,000, excuse me, that went funky. Let's try that again. 2,574 and divide that by 6. Now 6 goes into 25 four times. 24, subtract, you get 17. 17 divided by 6 is 2, which is 12. 17 minus 2, or excuse me, 12 is 5, bring down the 4. 6 goes into 54 nine times. So the rate is 429 miles, because that's what the distance wheel rate was, per hour. 429 miles per hour. Make sure you write all this down before you go on. Okay, here's another practice. This time we just have the basic information. The distance is going to be our unknown variable at D. The rate is 55 miles per hour, but the time is half an hour. Now, if we plug these into our formula, distance equals rate times time, it's going to look like this. Distance equals 55 times 1 half. 
Now, the variable is already by itself, so we just need to solve the right side of the equation. Basically, we're going to have to take 55 times 1 half. Now, if you're going to take a whole number times a fraction, you can just put it over 1. That's going to give us 55 over 2. In other words, we're going to need to take 55 divided by 2. Turn that improper fraction into a mixed number. 2 goes into 5 2 times. Subtract. 2 goes into 15 7 times. Subtract. And we get half. So the distance is 27 and a half miles because the distance, we were going 55 miles per hour, but we only drove for half an hour, so we want half of that time. The final answer, then the distance is 27 and one half miles. Let's try it again. Uh, this time our basic information, we know the distance is 96 feet. We know the rate is 32 feet per second, but we don't know the time. Now if we plug these into our equation of distance equals rate times time, we get 96 is equal to 32 times t. Now in this equation, we need to get that variable by itself. To do that, we have to get rid of the 32. And to do that, we have to do the opposite. So instead of multiplying it by 32, we're going to divide by 32. We do it to 1, we have to do it to the other. Now we need to take 96 divided by 32. Well, I bet you've already figured out. Let's just double check. 32 times 3, yep, you were right, it is 96. So when we're all said and done, we're going to have 3 is equal to t. So the time is 3, but if we look back at the rate, we're going to see seconds. So we know the final answer is 3 seconds. And there's your final answer. Now you're going to do some practice on your own. Uh, we're going to find the missing values in this table. Now in this table we have the trip. We have trip A, trip B, and trip C. We have the time. We have the rate, we have the distance. But if you look at trip A, the rate is missing. If you look at trip B, the hours are missing. And if you look at trip C, the distance is missing. Now, I want you to solve on this screen will be for trip A, the next will be trip B, the next will be trip C. Now, these are for extra credit to points for each one if you get it correct and bring it to class on time uh, tomorrow. Okay, so go ahead and stop the video, figure out question number one, rate of the vehicle in trip A. In this one, you're going to find the time for trip B. You know that they went 80 miles per hour and they went 576 miles. How long did it take them to get there? In this one, you're going to solve for the distance traveled in trip C. You know they drove for 12 hours. You know they went 8 miles per hour. Ooh, I hope that was on a bike. How far did they get? So when you come to class tomorrow, make sure you show me these three extra credit questions. And we, the magic word for today is bedtime because I waited too long to do my homework and I am exhausted. So have a great rest of the evening and we will talk to you tomorrow.